fall is definitely one of the best times to be out throwing in top water, but you need to know where to look. We're up a creek right now, and what we're looking for is points with timber, shallow humps, spots where you got trees marked on there. You can find the depth ranges that are different. You wanna search for those spots because these fish are gonna be moving up shallow, they're gonna be chasing bait, and these are the places you wanna look first. Another great spot in the fall is just windblown points, but I like to be kind of specific with a windblown point. Got one on right here. This one is close to a creek channel and it's going into a creek and it runs out for a really long way. So this gives them a lot of room to you know move bait around, roam. You're liable to find some Kentuckys on it. the top water that we're using. It's the number one walking top water of all time. That's the Super Spook Junior. This is the perfect fall top water because it perfectly matches the shad this time of year. This bait's three and a half inches long. It has a pretty narrow profile to it. It just looks like what they want to eat. Little Kentucky. He was just right off that island. That's where these fish are gonna school and they're gonna move up shallow and deep as they can throughout the day and feed. Makes a really good place to throw this spook. There's nothing more fun than chasing schooling fish. Be sure you got your reel loosened up so you can throw this bait out there as far as you possibly can. Oh, got this little guy. Oh, he's tiny. He's tiny. Nothing's really gonna shy away from it. Small enough bait, you're gonna catch these small spotted bass, but you can also catch big largemouth too. The Super Spook Junior comes in a lot of great colors. A lot of shad they're spitting up in my boat lately, they've had a lot of chrome tint to the sides of them, so I choose this nickel color because that's just straight chrome. Now, if it gets a little bit cloudy, I like to go to something that's got more of a bone profile to it. This Lake Fork Shad has some good greens and orange tint to it. This just looks more like a threadfin shad. It's a little bit brighter pattern. I like to always keep this one rigged up as well, so if they're not biting the nickel color, I can go to this. And if the situation has changed really quickly, like they tend to do in the fall, you'll have both of them ready. I didn't jump too much. Seems like I'd like to get a hook in your hand. Oh, got him. <laughs> All we can catch today is these little fish, but dang, they're fun. This is another place in the fall that they'll get. What this is, this is just standing timber out in the middle of a channel. This lake's draw down for the winter, and they're just gravitating towards that timber. Makes a good place to throw a spook. We got one, didn't you? I knocked the fire out of it. It's a little better one. I guess not by much, but better than what we've been catching. <laughs> that little guy hit it just right off the side of that point. Gosh, there's nothing more fun than throwing a Super Spook Junior in the fall. I can guarantee that. Other than whenever they're coming up breaking right near the boat. Did you see that? So anytime that you're out in the fall, you need to have a Super Spook Junior tied on. And these are the types of places that you need to look for to throw the Super Spook Junior. Because not everywhere is gonna have fish, but if you find them, there's gonna be quite a few of them.